Welcome to Gardening at 58 North and today I'm going to show you how to clean the leaves of your rubber plant. So this is my rubber plant here, I've had it a couple of years but I haven't cleaned the leaves for about three or four months now and you can see the real dust build up that's starting on them. So I'll just let you see the plant there and now I'll just move the camera in so you can see an individual leaf as an example for cleaning. So here we are. You can see the dust is really quite bad on this leaf. I just get my finger. You can see the look at the dust build up. It's quite bad. So that that this this is quite common on Ficus benzamina plants. You can see it there. Dust is very common on these plants because in the wild the rain will just wash them off. And dust wouldn't be an issue in the wild. But here in a household environment, there's a lot of dust, the dry atmosphere, and of course there's no rain to wash it off. So what happens is the dust gets thicker and thicker and it starts impeding the, the light from getting to the plant so the plant doesn't get as much light as it needs and also it can sometimes clog up the, the breathing underneath the, uh, the plant so it, doesn't, it can't produce oxygen as well and it can't uh, absorb the carbon dioxide. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to get a normal dusting cloth uh, as long as it doesn't have any chemical or product build up on it, um, dusting cloth is fine. And all you want to do is wipe down and away from the midrib, which is this bit here, and just down from away from the, the main stem of the plant. And you can see there already, it's already much looking, looking much better. Once you wipe the majority of it off, if you just give it quite a fast rub like this, it will polish it up to a nice shine. You can be fairly tough with the rubber plant because um, it's got big thick leaves but uh, you don't want to press too hard, you don't want to damage it at all. You don't want to really bend the leaf too much like that, but a little bit's okay. So there you are, you can see that, how nice and shiny that looks. As a comparison, you can see the leaf below, which hasn't been done, isn't very shiny, but that one is. So as you're doing this with the plant, you want to start at the top, do all the top leaves first, and the reason for that it's because if you start it on the bottom and, the, and you have the bottom leaves nice and clean you then go up to the top leaves and all that dust you're wiping off from the top will then fall back into the bottom leaves. So you want to start at the top and you just want to work your way all the way down the plant just like this making sure you get every single leaf and you'll need to rotate the plant around to make sure that you, you are slowly going down the way. You don't want to do one side and then the other side. You want to really start at the top and just follow each leaf down as you progress. So I'll just put this in time lapse so you don't have to watch too much. So there we are, that's more fully, fully dusted. And the other benefit with starting at the top and working your way down is you're much less likely to, to miss a leaf. So I'll just give you an example. You'll work your way down, so you see you do this leaf here and then you do that one, and then you follow the stem, the next one is this one, follow the stem again, and it's that one. So that way, if you do it carefully from the top to the bottom, just looking at the stem, which one is the next one, you're less likely to, to miss one. So you'll be polishing this, follow the stem back, down, the next leaf is this one, polish that, follow the stem down, next leaf is that one. So you continue like that, and you're less likely to, to have any problems with, um, with missing a leaf. So, that's the first stage, which is a damp cloth, with a dry, dry cloth, sorry. And the next stage is what you want to do is you want to get a damp cloth. So, cleaning cloth again is fine, just make sure there's not much, too many chemicals on it. Um, a fresh cloth is better. But what you want to do is you want to make it damp, and you want to put a little bit of um, washing up liquid in it. And the reason for that is washing up liquid not only helps to clean the leaves, but because it's got detergent in it, but also if you have any insects on the plants a little bit of soap is a very good way of killing off any of those insects because the soap actually covers the insect and suffocates it. The reason for that is because insects don't breathe through their mouths like most animals they actually absorb all the moist, all the, all the oxygen through their through little holes along their skin so if you put soap in the mix it, it clogs them up and it, um, stops them from being able, able to breathe so it's very similar with a wet, with a damp cloth. You just have to do the same kind of thing. Just give it a good wipe down, so the whole leaf looks wet. And although you didn't, I didn't tell about doing the top cloth, top of the leaf with the dry cloth. 
it's often good to do the bottom of the leaf with a damp cloth because that's where the breathing holes are with the plant. That's where it gets its oxygen and um, carbon dioxide from. And also, this is quite good for plants because you have a very dry environment in your home and most plants, especially the rubber plant, will come from a tropical rainforest where it's a lot more humid and damp. So a bit of moisture on the leaves is sometimes quite a good thing because it'll do well. And again, you can give it a little polish if you want and it'll shine up nicely. So that's all you need to do really for cleaning your rubber plant. Um, as again, start at the top, work way down with the damp cloth so you don't miss any leaves. Uh, I'll just leave you two photos now of this leaf here. And the, two photos, the first photo you'll see is the leaf before I dusted it. And the second one is the leaf after I dusted it. So you can see the, the effect and how shiny it is. Now if you want it even shinier than these photos, what you can do is you can buy leaf shine and that's a special plant polish that polishes up to a really shiny standard.